Hello, I'm working on 8.4, number 57. This is from Math 127. And it says, uh, plot both complex numbers and, on the same graph, plot their product. So we have 2e to the pi over 3i times 3e to the 5 pi over 4i. So I identify that my z1 would be 2e to the pi over 3i. And that means that the radius, which is maybe call that z instead, the magnitude of z is 2, and theta is pi over 3. And so for our, remember on our axis system, the vertical axis is the imaginary component, or the imaginary axis, and then the horizontal one is the real one. So we want to know what is the value going to be there. Well, the real number is going to be the magnitude, which is 2 times cosine of pi over 3, which is going to be 2 times 1 half, which is 1. For the imaginary, it's going to be 2 times sine of pi over 3, which is 2 times the square root of 3 over 2. The square root of 3 does not look like a square root of 3. which is going to be the square root of 3, which is approximately 1.73, I believe it is. Yeah, 1.73. And then so that gives us the x and y for the first point. The second one, for the real, it's going to be, again, I shouldn't call that R, I should call that Z. Hope you see a connection here, it looks familiar like an R. Anyway, the Z we have, uh, it's going to be 3, that should be the magnitude of Z. 3 times cosine of 5 pi over 4. And that's going to be what? That's the third quadrant, so 3 times negative square root of 2 over 2. That would be approximately what? Two, 2.12 And the imaginary part for this would be 3 times sine 5 pi over 4, which will also be uh, exactly 3 times the negative square root of 2 over 2, which will be approximately negative 2.12. So I'm going to go ahead and graph these. Let's put on this. Um, you call this one here. In fact, now I'm going to change that out. Call it one. Two by two is one, two, three, and four. change colors here. So my z1 we said it was at 1 and 1.73 so 1 for x, 1.73 for y so I'd put it right about there z1 and z2 we said negative 2.12 for both of them so we're looking at right about here Now we've got to look at the product of these two. So we're talking about z1 times z2.
going to do is have the magnitude of z1 times the magnitude of z2. Then times, and we could say cosine, or we can do an e, e to the theta 1 plus theta 2 times i. So our z1 was a 2, or z2 is a 3, times e to the pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 4 times i. So it's going to be 6 times e to the common denominator is going to be 12. So that's going to be 4 pi over 12 plus 15 pi over 12 times i. And that's going to be 6 e to the 19 pi over 12. Okay, so the real part is going to be 6 times cosine of 19 pi over 12, which is, let's put this in the calculator, make sure I'm in rating mode and I am, 6 times cosine of 19 times pi divided by 12. I get a decimal approximation here. 1.55. And then for the imaginary part, it's going to be 6 times sine of 19 pi over 12, which is approximately what? negative 5.79, so if I round it to three, two places, negative 5.80. Okay. So if I graph this, ooh, that's going to be off my graph, isn't it? So we said it was 1.55 right around there, and then negative 5 point something, so it's going to be way down here. Right down there. That's the product. Okay, I hope that helps.